Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to do FML analysis using SOLIDWORKS. So, this is a heatsink model that we, we took from GrabCAD. The link is in the description below. So, to start thermal simulation, you go to study, new study, and select thermal, press OK. So, first thing, you, you have to check that it's the parts, uh, the parts, and the material of the parts, which is uh, here we have this is aluminum and this is copper, the core. So we're gonna do uh, thermal, we're gonna go select thermal loads and press convection. So we're just gonna assume that the air will flow throughout this whole surface. So I'm just gonna select all exposed faces and we're gonna select deselect the bottom parts. It's going to take a while as you can see there's a lot of surfaces. Okay, so I'm going to select this part. As this is this where the heat source will be connected to. And so I'm going to put my Convection coefficient as 130. Oops. As this is the average uh, convection coefficient for a forced air, and the bulk ambient temperature as 298 Kelvin, as this is the room temperature, and then press OK. It's gonna take a while, so to improve the performance, uh, I'm just gonna hide the convection. Press hide. Okay. Now it looks it's going smoother. And then I'm gonna add heat power. And I'm gonna select this part. I'm gonna set it to 100 watts. Just a rough estimation for a normal heat source, and then I'm gonna press OK. Um, then I'm going to create a mesh. I'm gonna put a finer mesh for higher uh, and more accurate uh, results. Press OK. It'll take a while for that. So after the mesh is over, we can run this study. Okay, so here we got our results. So as you can see, these four fins will have higher temperature than the other fins, as it has less surface area. And the mid part has higher temperature, and as you go out, it's gonna be the temperature is gonna decrease. And from the bottom of the heat sink, it's gonna be high as as this is where the heat source is. And so here is our results, the number. So first thing we're gonna change it to a more readable way. So we're gonna go press plotting and press OK. Then we're gonna edit definition, change it to from Kelvin to Celsius. Press OK. So this is a thermal analysis demonstration. Thank you for watching.